Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm joined by Rob Davis of Hopscene.com, and we have an Italian beer, the second Italian beer of the day. This is Beautifilio Foglia Debra, and it's the Hopphelia India Pale Ale at 7% ABV. There you go. What do you think, Rob? What do you think of the, the label and the, the description? And like the, the name of the beer, even? I don't know anything about it, <laughs> yeah. to be honest. No, 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 neither do I. Red Beak. But I mean, I, I did a bit of poking around right there, and it came out as uh, quite a highly, highly rated one. We don't get a load of great Italian craft beer in this country, so whilst we're at GBBF, Let's well, we do may it. as well make the, yeah. take the opportunity and have some. Absolutely, absolutely. Ooh. Mm. Oh, so, uh, another thing I like about these Italian breweries, they put oversized. Big old chunky bottle. Big old chunky bottle caps on it. I'll do the honours. Get it in. So IPA. Oh, it's more like an amber ale, isn't it's it? It's quite dark, yeah. I mean, it is going to be an IPA. Top amongst yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, for me, it's, it's more like a, an amber ale, but. There is sediment in there, but I'll leave it out for tab in. It might be, it might be to do with just the language barrier, where we've not read something on the label that says it's a red, uh, no, a red IPA. I think it is maybe an IPA, but you mean, maybe it's just a good amount of, maybe a lot of Munich malt, maybe a hint, bit of crystal malt actually. Okay. But I'm sure we'll figure, figure that out once we get a bit of a sniff in the tank. Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of like a reddish, uh, kind of a reddish copper. Yeah, very much, very much good, like a bright copper beer, actually. Yeah. It's like a shiny new penny. Head slightly off white. Should I check out the room? Yeah, let's dive in. Cheers. That's nice, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's something about a red IPA that does it for me. Mm. It's, That's really it's, nice. It's juicy marmalade on toast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's got a real sugary kind of mm. under as well. Yeah. Ca uh, like candy floss, made even as far as that. It smells like an American IPA. You know when we were talking earlier about the last beer we did, where it's got an Amer Italianized sense to it. This one smells just a, like a pure American, almost double IPA. Yeah, kind of yeah. peach, definitely raspberry, maybe even. Yeah, it's very. It's got a sweet fruit aroma to me. It's not kind of. It's not grapefruit and that kind of thing. It's not. Typical kind of like West Coast IPA. It's maybe a bit, bit sweeter. Maybe a bit more mild driven. Let's find Let's out. Dive in. Cheers. That's nice. Mm. It's quite dank. Yeah. It's quite dank. Um, it's, it's kind of like wet, wet aut autumn, autumnal leaves. Yes. Um, maybe a hint of breadiness. Um, paprika, cayenne pepper. Maybe a hint of nutmeg, it's, in that sense I find it quite spicy, bready, definitely very bready. Bready. Like rye bread. That yeah. Thing. It's sweet on the back end. Yeah. And then and then it's, it's kind of that hop sensation comes in, that bitterness, and then it leaves with a rather sweet, nice, mm. a nice sweet finish to it. It reminds me of a lot of kind of what we now see as like rye IPAs. Mm. And I know you said originally at the start you thought you were very American. I think it's... British, you know, yeah. It's kind of yeah. Like, it's British, but with probably a bit more of an American hop profile. It's definitely got that kind of like um, the spice that you get in an English IPA. I like that slow ramping bitterness, where it's like a slow. It's not in your face bitterness. It's like a slow uh, a build. Kind of like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It builds. Yeah. It, it, it evolves. Yeah, it's a nice it's bitterness on the finish. I like it. Mm. Yeah, it's balanced. Then if Very it's got. Balanced. Bitterness and sweetness together, it's a nice balanced beer, yeah. very drinkable. I don't think you'd know it was 7% either, would you? 7%? No, no, no. I think you'd find a lot of beers, what, we're around like 5, 5.6, something yeah. like that. Which would be all around this, like, this, this. It, uh, Maybe it's because of that more sweetness, you think. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a bit more kind of sessionable. Because you're expecting kind of big IPAs to be kind of like big, punchy, grapefruity, kind of piney kind of deals. But this is a bit more kind of softer, because they're going to tell you, Probably, I, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to say crystal malt, because I don't think it's got that character, but maybe a load of Munich malt or something like that. Maybe a hint of amber malt, even. Anyway, it's nice. It's nice stuff. Rated. Not, I'm not running, I'm not um, like shouting from the rooftops. Yeah. But I'd say seven. Seven, yeah, absolutely right. I was thinking seven. 
it's it's very good. But Rob says it as Rob says it's not shouting from the rooftop. It's not kind of hitting them heights where you go stone the crows. Yeah. <laughs> it's not stone the crows. Yeah, yeah. Seven out of ten. But yeah, pretty decent beer. Look out for it, give it a try. Thanks for watching. Check out this guy, hopscene.com. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.